Daylight savings time is set to begin tomorrow at 2 a.m. And we know that the time change could impact your sleep, and it also, believe it or not, could impact your wallet. Virginia Tech economics professor Jadrian Wooten joins us now. Jadrian, so good to see you right off the top. Are you thumbs up or thumbs down when looking forward to daylight saving time? <laughs> uh, to the one tomorrow, definitely thumbs down. Mm. But to the one in November, I love that one. I'm a morning guy just like y'all. I, I like the extra hour in November. I mean, I hate the one tomorrow. Oh, Jadrian, you're preaching to the choir. That extra hour of sleep when we fall back is like a little gift from heaven. Jadrian, yeah. I got to ask you about this because we were learning that this could actually impact our pocketbooks. <laughs> Tell us a little bit how daylight saving time could actually impact the economics of it all. Sure. So there's, um, I'll say there's a big business push, obviously, to get a little bit more time in the afternoon, right? We have an extra hour of sunlight after we get off of work. Maybe we'll stop by a store. Uh, maybe we'll you know, get in around a golf uh, if we leave at work a little early. You know, the extra sunlight in the evening is really nice in terms of just getting out uh, and, and getting out our wallet as well. But at the same time, uh, you know, there's costs associated with it. We obviously lose a little bit of time in the morning. So, you know, the 8 a.m. shift is a little less productive than it used to be. Uh, and so those are the trade-offs that we have to think about, whether we care about the 5 o'clock or the 8 o'clock people. Hmm, that's so interesting, too. So are you saying that there would be companies and businesses that would actually adjust their clocks and perhaps their business hours because of the, the time change then? Um, they probably should. So I, I think, you know, we're always a little slower in the morning. So, you know, I'm an 8 a.m. person in the sense that, you know, I go teach in the morning. I'm a little slower in the morning right after daylight savings time. Students are a little bit slower in the morning. So maybe it would be something that's beneficial just for a couple of days to give your employees a little bit more time to adjust. Uh, but at the same time, it, you know, it sort of it flips on the other side back in November. They're a little more productive at 8 o'clock in the morning. So over the course of a whole year, it probably evens out. Yeah, so interesting. Jadrian, let me just ask you, what do you do specifically, you know, especially tonight into tomorrow? What are you doing to adjust to the time change? Well, thankfully, I was listening to your previous guests, and I do exactly what they say. Uh, you know, I try to go to bed a little bit earlier. It, it is a little hard. Uh, you know, I do the same thing when I travel. One of the things that I try to do is I try to sort of sleep deprive myself a little bit uh, in the days leading up to it. That way, I'm extra tired uh, tonight. Uh, and then that way, I'll, I'll make sure to get a full night's rest. I'll go to bed a little earlier than normal. Jadrian, that's such a great idea. And then before I let you go, I just want to let you know, that painting over your right shoulder is distracting me. It is so beautiful, by the Thank way. You. So I like I like what you did there. Virginia Tech Economics Professor Jadrian Wooten. Jadrian, thanks so much for your time this Saturday. We really appreciate it. Thanks, Mike.